Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have just uh, finished up pretty much everything uh, that we need to do. All four of the bosses are dead. Let me just... I'm just gonna do a. That's just a safe point, apparently. Um, I just kind of want to do a quick little, uh, quick little cleanup down here. If we can't get, uh, can't get a couple of uh, last little upgrades, just so that we have them when we go to uh, Turian. Not a big deal, but I mean, you know, ten misses here and there isn't gonna make a huge difference. But uh, when it comes to the final fight, I like to uh, like to have everything I can have. If that makes any sense. So long as this. Oh, you gave me iron reaction. That's perfect. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I am recording today. 
This is what they call the golden floor. Um, this is what actually dictates what exactly you have to do to beat the game. Because without actually glitching it, you have to beat all four of them to uh, to unlock this. And if you unlock this, obviously you can't continue on to the next area. But I mean, it's realistically. Unless you're really, really, really good, like um, like one of the like world record speedrunner kind of people, they're not going to be able to uh, to make it through uh, uh, Turian unless you are unless you have the upgrades that you get from the four of them. Anyway, because you absolutely have to have Ice Beam. Well, I guess you don't have to have to have it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess you don't absolutely have to have Ice Beam, but... Actually, yeah, maybe you do. I don't think you can, you can kill the Metroids without the Ice Beam. But yeah, this is Turian. This is the last, uh... This is the last area you uh, you go to in the game. As you can see, everything hurts. Lots of onion rings everywhere. I actually forget what those are actually called. But, I don't know. They look like onion rings to me. Don't you latch. So the Metroids will actually uh, latch onto you and deal a good, a good bit of damage when they do. But uh, as long as you uh, kind of play it semi-safe, like I am with the uh, my strategy here, how I'm doing the uh, ice beam to freeze them. And then you're taking them out with a super. I mean, you really don't have a whole lot to worry about. She has some problem as they do that. Okay, I got a purpose of block damn it. I'll be honest, I've never found a consistent way to get them off of me. Other than just sort of start um, spamming bombs or running back and forth. They usually work a little quicker than it did there, but... Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not too, too worried on health right now. This makes me sad, this is going to be the last episode that I see you guys in for the series. So, you all remember that tiny baby Metroid from the beginning of the game? There's a way to actually skip that cutscene that uh, the speedrunners use, and pretty much what you do is um, you continuously jump like over the Metroid in, a, in like a loop like that, because there's a there's a decent bit of uh, like time it takes the Metroid to actually fly like that when it uh, hits the edges of its uh, of its like a uh, rotation. So you can do that, and then you use a, uh, you drop in a morph ball for uh, just a second to uh, get through the transition way. <coughs> Excuse me. Nasty cough this morning. But, um, yeah, the reason, uh, the reason speedrunner will do it is because it not only skips that cutscene, you also don't lose all your health. Like, how you just saw right there, I got taken down to 1 HP. Which means you can skip going to that energy recharge station. And I'm gonna save here, that way when I die, like I always say when and not if, because yeah, I already know me. I can uh, I just pick up right here. And then I am gonna be going for a little bit of a skip in this room. You see these little, uh, little things right here? You can, uh, you can actually clip through this one. Yeah, fuck it. And the advantage to clipping through, uh... Jesus. Clipping through that first one is, um... If the game doesn't detect that you've actually passed through, or you haven't killed that one yet, it um, it actually won't uh, won't spawn the the rest of those. So we're looking to freeze that one right there. So I can just do this. Ooh, jeez. There it is. Alright, so that was Mother Brain Phase 1 fight. Basically, avoid the onion rings, avoid the bullets, don't touch her, and, or him, her, her. Yeah, I think it's a her. Yeah, don't touch her. And uh, just dump missiles into her face. Similar philosophy, philosophy with face too. I jump too soon. Phase two, and if I'm not mistaken, I have to stay above 300 health. Where the cutoff is, because uh, oh, you'll see, you'll see when we hit phase two, we're always starting to get to phase three. I think I'll be okay as long as uh, she doesn't hit me with any catch up. I 
really regretting not picking up Plasma Beam though, that's for sure. Jeez, that sucked. Yeah, um, I botched this fight bad. If you haven't, if you haven't noticed, Mother Brain is an incredibly boring fight. Oh crap! I've got to jump. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna die. You don't like kill Mother Brain too. I'm dead. There's that ketchup. Yeah. Uh, that ketchup deals a crap ton of damage. Like it's, uh, I think it's like two or three hundred HP. But the thing is, we saved right outside her room. So let's get right back to her. I'm gonna try to have a better, uh, a better Zeptite room, which is the Zeptites are those little, uh, little red things that we we're trying to clip through the first one.
Yeah, sorry if I have a uh, gamer face going on right now. I'm just incredibly bad at this fight to begin with. So doing it while, uh, while recording is, is adding a bit of nerves. Ketchup, that's a good sign. Well, not really. See, it's a good sign because that means that she's getting close to uh, ending uh, phase two. jump to the final fight where I actually beat her because I get the feeling it's going to take a couple tries. Back in a second. My thumb is in so much pain right now. And I couldn't get it done, and um, yeah, so I had, to, I had to leave for work before I could finish up. So went ahead, came home yesterday, got busy this morning, got up, and I've been at it for about an hour and a half now, and uh, finally got it. I think the main problem is I just I was I was trying to use a strategy that doesn't work, but yeah. Um, so yeah. Mother brain, uh, mother brain 2 is dead, now we're headed to the third phase of her fight, and uh, as you can see, oh, sorry about that, no longer is my microphone screwed to my desk. And uh, yeah, that is definitely not a microphone stand, that is a lamp that I took the lamp for the and put my microphone on, because I am poor people, and can't afford the 20 bucks to go buy a microphone stand right now, or arm, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Baby Metroid dead. But we got Hyper Beam. Um, so. Yeah, I like how I was explaining it throughout the entire thing, hoping that one of my, uh, one of my attempts would be Bell 1, quote unquote. But, um, so yeah, Mother Brain, uh, Phase 2, which is once she has legs, um, she will attack using all of her attacks except for her Hyper Beam and her uh, Red Beam. I can't remember what the Red Beam is actually called. It's like the Fire Plasma Beam or some crap like that. Those little red balls that look like ketchup. Anyway, um, she uh, once she hits a quarter health, she'll start using that Red Beam. And uh, once she hits zero health, oh, by the way, this is the end of the game. Um, once she hits zero health, she'll actually start using the, uh, she'll use the Hyper Beam. She will, she has to hit you with it one time at least. Um, if she does, uh, it's, it's like a, like a trigger to that. Like, she, she has to, has to hit you with it once. Oh crap, that was bad. Real bad, oh, this lag is killing me. Let's go up. Jesus, I 
can't I can't even get my uh, inputs to time right because of the lag. Massive amounts of time between uh, between pressing that jump button. Jesus, I'm gonna die on the escape. Oh my god, I actually am gonna die on the escape. If I killed those two space pirates that were in that last hallway, what you could actually do, I've only been able to do it like one time playing through this game. Oh. Oh crap. I really am gonna die. Oh god damn it, I gotta do that fight over again. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna make it. I'm running out of time. Anyway, um, yeah, if you, uh, if you, uh, kill those, uh, two space pirates that are, uh, in that last hallway, you can, uh, charge up a shine spark, you, you can actually shine spark straight up the, uh, uh straight up, the uh, either side of that, because all, all those blocks that, uh, that are, like, the pathway, shit, they're tight. All the blocks that are along that pathway, they're actually uh, speed booster blocks. Oh my god, this is the closest I've ever been to losing, like, on the escape. Go in, go in. Oh, thank god. Oh, I'd have flipped my shit if I didn't make that. Anyway, um... But yeah, so what, back to what I was saying is, um... Once, uh... Uh, you know, I was going to save the animals. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it. Look up Super Metroid Animal Ending or something like that. You'll see. I didn't have time to. I, I was tight. Um, once, uh, once Mother Brain hits zero health on phase two, she'll uh, use that hyper beam, which is that rainbow thing, and it does 300 damage. So you have to end phase two with at least 301 health. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you die instead of triggering the cutscene where the Metroid comes in. But yeah. This has been Super Metroid. We're going to roll through the credits. Uh, we'll take a look at my cl item collection rate and time and see how we uh, see how we did. And as far as me, I'm going to sit back and enjoy some coffee because this is the uh, 220, not my worst. This is my uh, second attempt this morning. I do apologize for this. This is my uh, second attempt this morning, and I am currently at 49.47 on my time recording on the on a Adobe edition. But yeah, I didn't get any suggestions on uh, on the next game, so I do believe our next game is probably gonna be Resident Evil 4. Um, honestly I'm getting kinda of burnt on the Resident Evil series. I've been uh, playing it a lot lately. Um, I was kind of considering doing a Resident Evil remake, which is, um, well, it's actually a funny story. Um, so, Capcom re-released the original Resident Evil, remade a higher graphics, they put in all the stuff that was cut out of the original one, and did it on the GameCube. It looked real good. Well, a couple years back, they re-released it on, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and uh, PC. Well, I decided I wanted to get a copy for the PC, and uh, I had a had a buddy uh, who's overseas right now, and uh, he's on deployment. Anyway, uh, 
we're, we're bullshit and he was like, oh, well, you know, I happen to see a copy of that at the local little market thing. You want me to pick it up? I was like, sure, why not? I, I wouldn't mind having a disc copy because as far as I know, the only way to get a disc copy is if you live in, uh, if you live out in, uh, Japan. I think they're the only ones that actually got a, like a hard release of the, uh, remake for a PC. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Anyway, he 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 asked me if I wanted to wanted him to pick it up, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So he he bought he picked it up. Uh, apparently, it was two dollars at the local little bazaar or market, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and uh, he sent it to me. And yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's legitimate, but I can tell you it is the mainland Europe version, which has French, Spanish, and German as the uh, as the uh, text languages. Oh, Deer Force is the uh, production studio that actually produces. People don't remember them. It's sad, but yeah. But yeah, so if I do Resident Evil Remake, the HD re-release, it's going to be in German because I know enough German to be able to actually make it through, make it through the menus. Let's see our item collection rate. <sighs> wow, that was a lot of items. Anyway folks, that was Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get this edited and uploaded. I meant to upload this episode yesterday morning, but yeah, we saw how that turned out with that final boss fight. I think, I think my main problem is I didn't have enough energy going into it. Anyway, folks, until next time, you guys enjoy.